I hope you leave this video feeling the best in the world. You know, I want you to go out there and crush it. What is good, YouTube? It's me, UE, and you're welcome back to my channel, baby. I'm here on this channel, talk inspiration, lifestyle, and self development, and I'm here to help you become the best version of yourself as a young person now last week we talked about how to level up mentally and if you haven't seen that video please go and check it out because um the video is awesome it has a lot of content in it that will help you personally and it has a lot to do with what i'm going to talk about today all right so please go ahead and check it out after you've seen this video so guys today we're going to be talking about how to stop comparing yourself let's jump right into the video so talking about comparing ourselves, most times we feel less and that is because we compare ourselves to other people who feel that these people are the standards, you know, and we try to meet up to what they are or who they are or whatever it is, alright? But you don't have to compare yourself, you know, in my last video I said something, you have to understand that you are made in the image of God and His likeness and that makes you perfect the way you are. If I bought a car with my hard earned money, let me say I worked at a pizza store for like six months or more than and I bought a car and you know that car is gonna be the love of my life because I literally spent money to get this car. But then my next door neighbor buys a car it might be a Lamborghini, it might be a Chevrolet Camaro, it might be an Aston Martin, McLaren. God, I know my cars, man. <laughs> so guys, whatever car he buys, I start to see his car as more and then I start to see my own car as less. Why? Because I'm uplifting what I do not have and that is making me degrade what I do have. And this is what happens to us. Whenever we compare ourselves to someone else, whenever we compare what we have to someone else's stuff, we uplift what we do not have and then we downgrade or we degrade whatever we have. That makes us see it as less. This is what happens in our life daily. We try to meet up to some things. We see Instagram influencers and we try to meet up to their lives. You have to understand that someone will always be taller someone will always be prettier someone will always be more beautiful you know they always say the beautiful ones are not yet born but i kind of disagree with that because you know i see a lot of beautiful ladies every day someone will always be more of what you think you know now before you start to compare yourself to other people you should know that the person you're trying to meet up to also is comparing him or herself to another person so this person is trying to be like this person and the person i'm looking up to is trying to be like this person and it's an endless cycle and when you enter that cycle you can only lose because it can never be enough and that is why the fashion industry the makeup industry they keep on earning of you every single time because you're looking for the latest makeup the latest dress to be more you don't need the latest makeup to be more you don't even need the latest fashion dress to be more and this is why they try to create a standard that no one can never meet up to and then they sit back and watch you try and then you keep on consuming these products and then you keep on feeling less about yourself it's not about the product you need to understand that Whenever you see good stuff, whenever you see something you admire, give a compliment, say this is nice, you're beautiful lady, you're awesome. Whenever you find it difficult to give compliments, whenever you find it difficult to admire people's success or whatever, then know that you are in a secret competition with that person and that can be so toxic to your life. You do not need to compete with anybody whatsoever. The person you should go in competition with is the best version of yourself. Always try to be the best. You know, sometimes this makes us to actually not to focus on our lives and then we keep on focusing on other people's lives. And then you see, you're not even growing, you're feeling less about yourself because you've not focused on your own life. Always strive to be better. Always look up to the best version of yourself and try to make it better. That way, 
you won't even have the time you won't even notice that the next person is doing this or that or is like this or that you will always strive to make yourself the best version of yourself so it's not in materialistic things it's about the mindset it's also about how you value yourself your self-worth when you know all those things when you know how much you have worth you don't even see the need to compare yourself before you go i want to give you guys four tips that will help you guys to stop comparing yourselves to other people or anything at all all right the first one is focus on yourself focus on making yourself better focus on beating the best version you've created already about yourself always focus on yourself i'm not saying you should be self-centered but focus on the things god has given you now have you ever thought about this whatever you are what Whatever you have, however you look, makes up your personality. If it's a little bit something than what you have right now, it won't be you anymore. So what you have to do is to develop that singular thing that you have, that stuff you already have and make it better. The second tip has a lot to do with the first tip I mentioned, actively pursue personal growth. And this can only happen when you focus on yourself. Focus on the things God has handed into your life and try to make the best out of it. Now, let's use the illustration of the talents in the Bible. The first person was given five talents and he reproduced five more. The second person was given a certain amount, he reproduced the amount times two. And the last person was given just one. Instead of him to focus on what he has and try to reproduce more, he went ahead and buried it. He didn't want to do anything with it. Why? Because he felt that he was being cheated on. He felt that, okay, my master didn't love me, so he gave me less. You know? Now, the moral of that story is this. The master wasn't looking out for who he gave five, who he gave four, who he gave three, two, one, or whatever. He, none of those things matter to him. He wanted to know what you can be able to do with the amounts you were already given. You know? He knew their capacity and that's why he gave them that certain amount. So if you cannot do anything with the things you have already, just know that you won't get more. So actively pursue personal growth and become more, become the best version of yourself. And the third tip is this, mind the people you follow, mostly online. You know, when you follow the wrong people that are trying to build up these standards that they can't even live up to, you know, they try to make up that standards because of social media and you try to do that with yourself, you're only gonna hurt yourself. You know, at a point in my life, I just had to unfollow some certain people and I only follow the people that can only give me value, the people that will challenge me to become the best version of myself. Not the people that will make me envious or jealous or start to compare myself. You know, always follow people that will make you the best version of yourself because whether you like it or not, the people that you follow and you watch every single time has an influence in your life directly or indirectly. The last tip I have for you all, I love this one so much because it's cut across everything that we do in life. Always practice gratitude. God, I love practicing gratitude. You know, whenever you are thankful for what you do have right now, you don't even see the need to compare yourself to another person because you are uplifting what you have and you're not even seeing the things that you don't have. You know, they become less to you, they become irrelevant to you. That is the way it should be. When you practice gratitude, you find out that you are happy, you are, you are grateful for what you do have and that keeps you motivated. That makes you want to do more. That makes you want to become the best version of yourself, you know? So always practice gratitude. It's gonna help you in the long run. It's gonna help you not just in this topic, but in so many other areas of life, all right? So I hope this video was helpful, guys. Please share this video to someone because I know someone out there desperately needs a content like this. And you know that sharing is caring, guys. So share this video and give it a thumbs up. Like this video because it helps every single time you guys like it. And subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video. I love you a big time and I hope I've provided the value in this video. I hope you leave this video feeling the best in the world. That is what I want from you. That is what I want you to do. I want you to go out there 
and crush it. I want it to go out there and show people what you've made of. You've got a personality that no other person has. Alright, so go out there, crush it. Always look out for the better version of yourself because it's right there waiting for you. You just gotta walk through it. Alright, I'll see you in my next video. Peace, guys.